Welcome to a new modern video. Today we're playing Boris Burn, which is a deck, used to be one of the most popular decks in modern. Many people own Burn because it used to be one of the cheapest decks around, but the deck just hasn't got a card in so long that people kind of forgot about it in modern. Although last week, three people populated the same challenge with the same archetype, Boris Burn, featuring Show Off, Channeler, and Mishra's Bubble. Now, I don't know if this was inspired by some a deck builder, I just thought it was very weird, and this is definitely uh, one of the things that went on last week, and definitely my deck of the weekend in Modern. Um, Zuxia Show Off has boosted the power and playability of Prowess a lot. Uh, in the last um, Mox, the, the most important tournament that happens on Magical Line every three months, uh, which, by the way, finals was two Yogmoth, but you know, that's not a topic. Um, there were two Teamer Prowess, so definitely a deck that uh, um, is very popular now. Although this list doesn't play Lava Dart, it doesn't play you know Iteration, Preordained, that type of stuff. It's still it's still Burn, you know, Forest Charm, Skewer, Rift Bolt, Lava Spike. But we also play this quote unquote Prowess esque uh, type of gameplay with Show Off, Channeler, and Mishra's Bubble. Um, one of the reason why I think this deck uh, is powerful also is the presence of Sunbaked Canyon, uh, which is a land that just for free, you can just put in there and it's a canopy land. My group prowess unfortunately didn't have that land, it's kind of weird that they still have a modern format with an incomplete cycle of lands since 2019, but I guess they just you know didn't care about completing that one. Um, yeah, outside of that, it's just, it's just Boris Burn, you know, <laughs> the game plan is gonna be quite straightforward, and you don't have Giganta, because you have a bunch of double color card in the sideboard, the Sanctifier and Vec for, for the scam matchup, and I guess I'm bringing this against Murktide as well, and Exquisite Farcraft, which is uh, really good against the counter spell decks, since, uh, you know, <laughs> People usually just, just let it, everything resolve and then uh, want to counter the last burn, but you definitely cannot do that against Exquisite Firecraft. So this is the uh, the deck we're playing. Okay. Hello everybody. Professor Black, how long? Mormagill, hello guys. Buongiorno Pinoc. Isn't and a half. Of course, when you play the Sambiket Canyon lands, it is a little bit awkward that, that you know, if you play a mirror match of Vagrid X, like against Zoo or Prowess, this may deal you a lot of damage. We'll see. Yeah, look forward to it, for sure. It's gonna be very hot in the summer in Rome, Naples, and Amalfi, so, you know, get ready for that. Okay, play against the zoo. Zoo, zoo, zoo. I just bolt the one cattle. Eh, I'm gonna hold all those bubble because if I'm putting taps out for a creature, I can just go show off double bubble attack from five. And bubble turns into a, a free. It's like a straight rate, but instead of you losing two life to draw a card, your opponent loses two life to draw a card. Okay, they go right down to 14. Nishoba Brawler. Okay. Whoa, what a draw. Searing Blaze. You love to see it. Actually, do I love to see it? Let me think about this. I may still go show off double bubble here. Like, this is a window I have to deal my opponent guaranteed 5 damage. They they don't have free... They don't have... Actually, this is funny. I'll, uh... I'll take a screenshot of the fact that bubble turns into a straight rate for your opponent. Uh, I guess I can uh, bubble an upkeep and then later. 
Senator Draco thankfully gives Trample to a Trample card already. One of the reasons why... Zoo may have lost a little bit of its playability. Sorry, I meant to say Burn. Is because the combo Lila and Cyan is really hard to beat. But it doesn't happen that often. No decks play it outside of uh, Zoo these days. When I chose not to play the channeler, I guess because they have a removal spell on my show off. Like that lightning bolt. I am a little bit afraid of dying to... I'm a little bit afraid of dying to Nishaba Brawler. So maybe I am just... Uh, I'm just killing it. Just attack. Put a stake in it. I mean, I know they have a bolt on top. Maybe I should have just Lava Spike picking combat. Because they can also have, um, they can also have uh, the um, stubborn denial here. You love the paper YouTube content? Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely. I mean, if they go for stubborn denial. I'm going to boldly show a brawler you get a four. Yeah, I think that's the best. Wow. I expect you to have bold, so I'm not going to bold the slick shot. Oh, I was gonna lava spike you. I mean, my opponent took 6 damage by themselves. That's definitely how Burn wins most of his games. Because your opponent starts at 14, not at 20. And Zoo used to play Lightning Elix. Now they don't anymore. Alright, GG. Do I expect at least one burn card in MH3? Yeah, I would say so, right? Watsy seem to have a... Uh, seem to always support every archetype with, with the MH sets. I guess they didn't do that with... Oh, no, I mean, you have Channeler from MH2 here, but not too much. So, uh, we're playing against uh, Zoo. I'm surprised there's no wear tear. That's definitely a card I would bring in in this matchup. I don't want to remove. Also, not the fourth Searing Blaze in the side seems weird. The problem with Path to Exile is that if they do the combo, Leila and Scion, you just have no outs. You have no outs to Leila and Scion. And I'm not bringing in Rolling Vortex against them. I don't want to cite anything here. No, I don't like to discuss leaks. I have a preview card next Monday. I really hope it's not, it's not leaked. I still don't know what it is. They haven't sent me yet. But... Well, the card for Burn that I was hoping to see in MH3 is Chain Lining. That's a cool card, an old card. Power level is all right, I think. If I had wear tear over smash, I would have set it in. But 
All right, thankfully they don't have Leyline again, so they can't do the combo. And if they can't do the combo, they can't gain life. Okay, that's no Ragavan. Ragavan is very good against Burn. You, it's unexpected how good it is against Ragavan against Burn. Yeah, I'm just gonna suspend Rift Bolt. I don't know where I wanna go. My my hand deals a lot of damage. It's unclear if I'll have time to do that. But my hand does deal a lot of damage. 18 damage. So, you know, if everything resolves and I have time, I win the game without drawing any other card. But it doesn't fetch for mountain, that's weird. I'm gonna bolt you. I know that you should usually should kill the creature. Maybe I should. What do you think? Yeah, I'll kill the creature. I don't know if this is right. Are they flustered storming this with a steam vents? I mean, I would have dealt three damage anyway, so. <laughs> I accomplished the same goal, it seems, if they, if they flash the storm this. At the end of, oh wow, they, that's, that's weird. Okay, sure, just go and go land, go here. Put us at 14 already. What's going on? I don't know. Questing Druid? Nothing? Hmm, my opponent, uh, doesn't seem very experienced in this matchup. Alright, my opponent clearly has a counter spell, so whatever. I'll just send a Boris Charm into the mouth into the mouth of a Plasasaur or Stubborn Denial, whatever they have. And like I don't think I should wait here since my hand is just Oh, so many of those. Okay. So here I can go. I think I like to go show off Lava Spike here. They can have um, uh, Fetch Land and Leyline Binding. I think that's what I have here. It's fine, I think. Maybe I played a little bit too much into their obvious cards. I could have just gone land Lava Spike Go. I have 11 damage in my hand. The only thing I need to dodge is a uh, sign of Draco followed by Leyland of the Guild Pack next turn. That's the only thing I need to dodge. Or I guess Scion plus Starboard Denial. Okay, well, that's a ley line. I like to deal damage with a creature because this Swiss Spear is going to deal 2 damage now and it's unclear if I'll be able to deal 2 damage later, so. The Sunday you go play RCQ, what do I suggest to play? Well, whatever you own, that's always going to be the answer. Too many formats, too many decks, I don't know what you own. I don't even know what to play, last time I played Pioneer was... Um, at the PT where I played uh, Amalia and then racked as vampires. Both these choices are okay, you know, I think. Nothing that stands out. You can play Burn. That's another deck that uh, is viable. All right. This was easy, but my put I never did a combo. And like, if they do the combo, you lose with this, with this list, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna play Popper. I play Popper every week on stream. Okay, this is a well ender and it has way too many two drops to be kept. I'm gonna mulligan this. All right, perfect. Keep a bottom of some bucket canyon. Let's go.
uh, the Boris synth video will go out uh, today on my YouTube channel on Monday. When is my Urza's tower? Uh huh. They're not gonna be very happy to see burn then. Okay, so usually you want to go Lava Spike Skewer pre-combat to pump the prowess card, but this is like impossible to get the Lyrium here. So I think I'm just gonna go double skewer because there's a world where I don't get to enable spectacle. So I just want to get rid of them. And let's see if I can get the Lyrium. It's not gonna be very easy for this deck to get the Lyrium. Let's see. Creature. A bottom land. I don't care that with land they double spell. You don't want to draw lands with this deck. Will I play Naples? Yeah. Yeah, if, you, if you're there, I'll make sure to say hello. Always happy to meet uh, my subscriber on Twitch and YouTube. Oh wow, Mono Blue Tron. Okay, let's go Swift Spear, Lava Spike. Again, impossible to get the Lyrium. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. If they go Condescent or Remand, it's okay. I still trigger Prowess. Not gonna, not gonna bottom Boris Charm. That's. Hope it's remand and not condescent, but it looks like it's condescent. So yeah, you got a tan here. You scryed to the bottom. I draw Boris Charm and I'll main phase it. I may hit Delirium with it because it's instant. Yeah, I'm glad I waited on the Boris Charm because Tishana could have uh, stifled one of my cards. Uh, I think I'm going to Boris Charm now. The reason being, if I hit Delirium, this is unblockable. Let's hope to hit Delirium, creature or artifact. Instant. Okay. So this isn't Delirium, but it makes sure I win the game. So I think I'll leave it on top. I think you have to block. I don't. I don't know. Actually, you may. You may still block channeler. You may still block channeler here. Yeah. So you got a four. So you're dead with my Boris Charm if it resolves. Let's hope you don't go Tron. But even with Tron, what can you do that's very dramatic? Worm coil. I don't mind. Yeah, I had. A, I had a great time for sure. Okay, they go steam vents, wow. And they have two mana up. If they have two mana up, I'm not going to fire any counter spell. I'll just pass here. I'll just pass. Oh wow. Okay, I guess they're dead. I guess they're dead. One card in hand, upkeep. It is indeed Boris Charm. The card you never want I mean I've cast so many Boris Charms so far. <laughs> Alright, so Mono Blue Tron should be a decent matchup. Maybe another matchup where I actually don't sideboard. I guess Searing Blaze is bad. So. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, they can have like one rolling vortex. Yeah, we can do vintage again. Did you guys see how well did the. Um... Wow, 35,000 this morning. 35,000 35, uh, views this morning in five days. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what to do. Island go. Opponent is off the races. Um, I'm gonna go bubble myself, fetch. Turning this bubble into a. Turning this all into an opt. Chas, buongiorno. Ooh, lightning bolt. It's okay. I'll suspend rift bolt. I know they have remand, which is annoying on a rift bolt, but whatever. I don't want to cut rift bolt. It's 1 mana 3 damage after all. You want to see Doomsday for sure? I did two for sure. I, I don't want to play Doomsday for sure. I can tell you that. No, I don't, I don't know. It's it's always uh, it's always hard to decide what to play for these decks. Because there's uh, so many... There's so many options. You know, when you, when you own every card, there's so many options of things to play. Buongiorno la bot. You, you don't like burn? We have a burn hater? Well, burn is great. If everybody plays burn at tournaments, the tournaments are over fast. As a judge, you should be always happy. People to play burn. So the tournament gets over quickly. What is on 11 already? Very simple math. 333. Three, three. Suspend. Play burn and go eat. That's true. You never have problem hitting your lunch break if you play burn. All right, let's see. They're doing something. I hope it's with the one ring. See, it is. Let's. Let's go back. So I have some Baked Canyon and I pass the turn since they have the ring protection. Go. Like the microphone like gets angry whenever I leave for a few days. You know? I leave for a few days and the microphone goes, Oh, you haven't used me in five days. I'm going to not work now. All right. Boris Charmu. Three mana condescent, remand, okay. Alright, let's go Swift Spear. And then I go Boris Charm. Rice on my Swiss Spear. It's a bit staticky. Hmm. Well, I can lower the. Oh wow! <laughs> I used a lot of cards to answer this turn. Fire Rice on the thing and fire and force. Hello, Anna. Welcome. Uh, after ooh, they tap the ring. Maybe they have another ring. I'm really look forward to draw it. They can go Karn Ring. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'll pass. 
Yeah, after this game, we'll try to fix the microphone. Okay, remember, this is uncounterable. But I don't want to play this until my opponent has a 4 life. Man, Reman is so annoying on a 3 drop. and goes Karn and they get Verm Coil Engine and pass. Okay. What's the worst that can happen with Karn? I think the worst that can happen with Karn is um, maybe Cityscape Leveler? Sorry, I meant to say Sundering Titan. So I have lethal here by going Exquisite Farcraft plus Cure the Critics. And I think I should just do it. I think I should just do it. I should just go for lethal. How do we beat flying lifelink hexproof creatures? You mean the Lila and Cyan? Easy. You just make them not draw it and you win. Force of Negation, Peach, Tishana Stite Binder. Okay. Six mana. Okay, Verm Coil. Let's hope they don't have another force, I guess. I'll bolt you. Force of Negation again. Good thing our deck plays many burn spells. Alright. We have defeated Mono Blue Tron with our burn deck strategy by burning a lot. GG's, says the opponent. They also say thanks for all the great content. I appreciate your message, Mathematic. Round number three. We have four lands, which is a lot of lands, but the other three spells are good. I feel like I'm a keeper here. And I'm gonna go land Swift Spear Attack without playing Mishra's Bubble. Ingmotus, I think they play Yogmot. I remember, yeah, exactly. I remember that nickname. All right, let's go show off. Bubble. Attack. I need to respect the uh, Dragon's Rage. Let's see, Dragon's Rage Channel. I need to respect the Orcish Bowmaster, so I can't crack the bubble now. I have to wait, because if I crack the bubble now, they can go Bowmaster in upkeep and kill my show off. As a Yogmot player, or as in, when I was playing Yogmot, uh, I was dying to Slickshot show off game one all the time. This card is really, really the worst enemy for Yogmot. And one of the reasons why I think the matchup against Prowess is bad game one is because of this card. When they when the Prowess doesn't draw this card, I think you're favorite, but whenever they do, you, you're not. Because 
the the way Yagumot is built is that they have no removal spell. The only removal spell is like Grist, which is really bad. What's the sub song? It's a version sang by me of Astronomia. So that I wouldn't uh, hit the subs, the, the sub, uh, not the sub, the, the right things, yeah. Anyway, let's go for a Searing Blaze on the Halfling. Unfortunately, it'll block with a Wall of Roots. Lava Spike. Uh, I think I'll leave it on top. Just the Nightmare Scenario of drawing a land here is too bad. I don't mind if they have Orc to kill this, I guess. Surveilling one is really good in burn, because if you draw a land, you put it on the bottom. Oh, sorry, you put it in a graveyard. You draw, you draw an extra card, basically. What is four cards in hand? A second Wall of Brutes. Is this Shieldred or Yogg? It's Yogg, so they can kill this. Oh wow, they go for show off instead. I guess they can kill all of the creatures I have. They can play Court of Calling in my turn for X equal 2. They can do that. Or Orcish Bowmaster here. Ooh. Yeah, they definitely put themselves in a decent spot here because they can orc. Oh, Blood Artist. Blood Artist makes sure they stay on six. And they can also kill my Channeler with the Wall of Roots. I guess I wish I used the uh, Arid Meza to cast my creature. I guess they could have killed Channeler first and then show off, so it's the same. Hmm. I draw a card here. Hopefully it's a spell. Hmm. I think I'll love a spike. Instead of using Skull Crack. School correct forbids my opponent to gain life off of Blood Artist. I think I can I can use that better later. Hello, the broker. Yeah, it's going well. A difficult game. I thought I was winning easily, but my opponent found a Blood Artist, which gained them obviously a lot of life, killed my board. For six, they don't have Blood Artist anymore. I have a School Crack, so. It's not the worst case scenario. My deck is filled of filled with burn spells. And already drew five lands. Although I kept four in my hand. So it's not that I wouldn't say I got I got lucky this game. When you keep four landers in burn, it's always you know, you're you're risking a lot. Yeah, my opponent has the Yogumut bar game, but Against burn, it's not great bargain. Burn. Rift Bolt, unfortunately, isn't exactly the card I was hoping to draw. Yeah, I'll just suspend it and pass here. The way my opponent can gain life is Cord for uh, Scavenging Ooze. Shieldred. Yeah, they don't have Shieldred though. Anyway, I could school crack, but I think I don't care about Swiss Spear. I can just let it die. My opponent doesn't have lethal. They have 6 damage. Okay, thankfully they don't have any Cord. Let's hope they don't have either Eldritch Evolution. Just any ways to get the scavenging ooze, which they play. If they have the normal list. Because I have a suspended rift bolt. I don't even need to fetch. Uh, 
All right, let's hope. I, I guess they attack, so they don't have cord. Sure, Grist, we got it. We got it. Put in a snow card in hand. I can just go crack end of turn and then rift bolt you, and I'll win the game. Okay, this wasn't easy, but we got it. Now, sideboarding. <laughs> Once again, I look at my sideboard and I find very weak cards. <laughs> it has happened every turn so far of this league. <sighs> There's no Surveyland in this list. So far, I didn't even think about it, so I guess I haven't needed it so far. I think I'll take out Channeler, but even Swiss Spear may be bad. Playing only three Searing Blaze in the 75. I don't know. Alright, once again, a four land end, but I think once again, a keep. Is a Sanctifier good against Yogg? Oh, I don't think it is. Put him also to 6 and starts with a Tapped Overgrown Tomb. Alright, how about I start with... It's not good. How about I start with a top land as well? Unlikely that I have to bolt anything here. I want to keep bolt for after the show off. Golf is really good against Yogg, let me tell you. I know. So the problem of going show off bubble is that they can go grist, but I think my hand is just unplayable, so that's the only thing I can do. I don't want to crack the bubble yet. Because I can go orc and kill my show off. So I want to crack the bubble only when. I'm sure they can't do the orc. Kill my slick shot. Hello, Maze Magic. Yeah. A great weekend. Let's see if they go Grist. Grist is super annoying because it, it it just kills my show off. Yeah. Although post cyber they have push and pick your poison to kill it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um mm -mm. but will you? And bubble will also be good on me, but I just want to you know, draw another show off or a Swiss spear. Swiss spear be nice because I can kill the Grist. Draw two now. Let's hope to not draw any more lands until the end of the game. I think my plan here is just to burn everything I got. It's just you know to do to do this with every card I have. And not bother too much. Like there are twelve, there are six. I let's see how much the game goes long, and hopefully I don't gain any life, and hopefully I win that way. You've enjoyed the workshop video recently. Nice. Tommy is now working on the popper video that we recorded last week. We were just talking this morning about the scheduling for the next um, videos. Shieldred the apocalypse. This is a way that can gain life. I. Three Path to Exile in my deck. That can help me there. Alright, Monastery, Swift Spear. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can see going Swift Spear, Bolt you, and then attack. Yeah, I think that's my play. Swift Spear, Bolt you, and then attack. And if you block with shield, but I can skewer the shield. Right? If you block with an insect, that's okay. Eh, what do I want to go with the skewer? If I go face, you go to six, then you go to eight, and then I have nothing.
I think at this point I shouldn't bother about uh, your um... I also killed Shieldred. Maybe that was better line. How did you pull out the first? Yeah, the car market video final series. I'm glad uh, you guys finally finished it. All right, scavenging goons. It will be the end of me. Okay, my hand was poor. My draws were poor. My pulling and draws was uh, all right. Nothing fantastic. Just all right. Mm. Uh, do I want to take out the channeler on the play? No, I think on the play, uh, I'll uh, submit a good old uh, no sideboarding. It's playing with, uh, you know, of course, Car Market gave me the cards, and most of them were in German, and I couldn't read the, the Crimson Acolyte, but I, I remembered that it was like old school uh, magic card, so the giving protection to your opponent cards as well was a thing of the past. Now let's go with one mana one one. When I play against Prowess, I side out Orc, so I assume that my opponent also did. I'm gonna go with Channeler, and then I think I wanna go Bolt on the Delighted Halfling. I'm gonna Bolt the Bird. Let's see if I get Delirium. I need to get lucky to get Delirium here, but it can happen. Hmm. Nah, this is too good. You can't. You can't Gregor the Lightning Bolt with this deck. They have the Mortuary. Yeah, the, the Yogamo deck plays two copies of Underground Mortuary. Yeah, we have one mana one ones. It's not exciting now, but hopefully it will be exciting soon. So here I have two options. I can go Lava Spike Bolt, which will... I think this is now very likely that I hit Delirium. So I'm just going to go Bolt and grave your four cards. I just need to grave it a creature or artifact, and I'll have Delirium. May not happen. I just hope it does. I hope it happens. And if it does happen, my opponent is going to go down very soon. Ah, oh, I missed it. Man, I missed Delirium. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I decided to grave your Searing Blaze because I had no land drop. But it could have been at uh, 10 life instead of 14. Let's see what they do now. Grist. Okay. Rift Bolt, that's not a good draw. Hmm. I can see going uh, Boar's Charm the Grist. Now, I mean, if I go Boar's Charm face and I hit Delirium, that's going to be 10 damage. You go down 4. I think that's good enough. I'm going to go face and, yeah, just really hope to get Delirium now with these channelers. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very bad. Okay, still no Delirium. Let's see if I get it now. I miss. I miss Delirium again. Man. This is really like the difference between winning and losing, just opening with a bubble in your hand. Ay -ay -ay. I guess I'm still gonna leave this on top. It's a lot of damage. I'm gonna tackle face, opponent's gonna block one, and then I'll finally have Delirium. Although I guess when I'll finally have Delirium, my opponent will kill the other channeler, so I'll have no more channelers. But yeah, if I played a Swift Spear instead of a channeler, I would have won this game 100%. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have done that. I just played turn two Swiss Spear instead of Channeler. Would have been much easier. I would have dealt so much damage. So much damage I would have dealt. I can go Swiss Spear. Suspend. I don't even want to attack because if I attack, it can block and go. I don't, I don't think it was worth the bluff when 100% blocks. Not 100%, but I'm very likely to block. Poseju, the Sunbaker Canyon. 
unexpected. Is better Goblin Guide. Let's say that Goblin Guide has proved to be not successful. Burn with Goblin Guide is not good in modern. Burn with Channeler and Slick Shot, it's a new thing. Again, it has done very well this weekend. There was a challenge with three of this deck in the top eight, like same archetype, with Channeler, Show Off, and Bubble. So it's something new and. You could say the the forbidden words, I got unlucky this game. Like I hit, you know, 10 cards and I didn't get Delirium. But, you know, if I, if I had that, I would have won the game 100%. I'm not saying that, you know, <laughs> I deserve to win. But you can say that if I replay this game uh, more times, I have Delirium. It's not a great to say that at the end of a of a game, like, oh yeah, I lost because I got unlucky, but maybe what happened. Drew again Channeler, which is really bad. Should Burn play a Survey Land? Yeah, that's, that's not a question. Well, so far, I don't think it has come very relevant. I mean, I'll point a Bozage with me, which is not very common. It's a good time. It's a good time for Goblin Lucky to start a second life in Pioneer. Could be. It could be, very well be, yeah. Ay, 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 opponent has cord. They can cord into scavenging ghouls and start gaining life. Yeah, I think my game is gonna come to an end now. The game is gonna come to an end now. Is there a good option for enabling Delirium more easily? You can play Top Fire or Seal of Fire over some bad burn spells. But then, you know, you draw those instead of something else. I think I should have just played Swiss Spear instead of Channeler. For, or maybe side it out. Like, if you remember, in Game in game 2, I, I sided out Channelers. I had Path to Exile. I guess Path to Exile would have been quite bad in this game. Opponent can go four, can gain four up to. Yeah, I, I think this game is over now. Should probably just save time and cons. I mean, I guess how many creatures there are? Two, three, four, five. I'll play my spells, but I think the game is over. If I put it was a two life, I missed uh, Delirium like think four times, so that could have been, <laughs> you know, a lot of damage this game. I just don't have to and concede. I have no, I have no outs. I have no outs to what's going on here. All right, we picked up our first loss. Round number four. My opponent kicked things off once again with the Lighted Halfling, so we have a rematch. We have a rematch. Let's go. Uh, I think I'm just gonna bold the bird. And pass. Searing Blades doesn't kill many things cleanly now, unless they have more Halflings. But I just didn't want them to untap with another with Halfling. Yeah, after after the stream, I can take a look at the new cards. I, I haven't uh, looked at the spoilers um, yet. The season is unfortunately very hard to talk about them since mixed of leaks and official previews. Um, all right, they go Agatha Soul Cauldron, sure. I'm gonna make my channeler pretty bad once again. I think I'm just gonna side it out even on the play. Uh, 
Let's just spend a couple of Rift Bolts and pass. Hopefully no land ring. If they go land, they win ring. I'll be very upset. Some Yogumo decks played a one ring, but the one that made the finals of the mocks yesterday, both of them didn't. Uh, I'll shoot my opponents. Hello, Vinny. What is on 10? I have 10 damage in my hand. Uh, I guess I can just go for it. I'm playing Burn. Let's not be, like, too smart about it. Let's play Bubble and Pass. I don't want to crack it yet. But I will crack it soon. Again, Scavenging Goose is the card that can gain life. That's like one of the few cards that can gain life. They can also mill it. If they mill it with Grace, that's probably the worst case scenario. Because they can gain life right away. Whereas otherwise, if they have to cord for it, they don't have time to gain life. I guess they can gain one if they have exactly a basic land. It's really not that many of those, like three. And they don't play with Twilight Mire anymore. Can't play Blooming March, so... I don't think they have many ways. Okay, wow. Well, so I can get one life here if they have Court of Colin. Again, one life is actually enough for them to survive. Yep. Doesn't do much. Because I have exactly the Boar's Charm. Yeah, my opponent took one damage off of Catacombs, then they took multiple of three, and then they took four. For exact 20. <laughs> Alright, let's try not to lose post cyber games this time. Side out the Chandlers, both play draw, and I'll bring in uh, three Path of Exile and an Exquisite Firecraft. I have to bottom a card here. It's really hard to bottom a card since they're all very good. How about I bottom Path of Exile? It really speaks low about it, though, when you side in a card and you bottom it. I think I really like the rest of my hand. I think bottoming a, a land was, was too risky. I didn't like it. Uh, I'll pass here. I want to use my bubble for both Swiss spears. Or if I top deck a slick shot show off. But I kept a wall in there against Burn. Risky, very risky. Uh, Searing Blaze. Okay. I think I like to kill the Wall of Roots. So I'll just attack, and then when they block the Wall of Roots, I'll blaze it. Oh wow, they don't block. Okay, then I'll blaze something else. Here, 15. I'm still slow rolling this bubble. Ooh, scavenging ooze. Let's 
Seven Jingles can become uh, just a 3 3, though. So I can see myself going Boris Charm. And then you're the critics, the scavenging goose. Black mana? Push, okay. Okay. I'm fine, I'm fine. It still dies. Yeah, I still pass. The Swiss Spear with things to bubble can attack next turn. If they go against the Soul Cauldron, they can exile this and gain life. I hope they don't have it. Ah, they do have it. Ay ay ay. That's gonna be bad. I don't have any. I do not have any disenchant in my deck. I don't think you should fight in smashes me to reins. There's gonna be it's gonna be putting their cauldron. Sorry, their ooze under a cauldron. can fetch a forest and gain one life here. Exiling the halfling. Or not. Okay. Hopefully they don't find a creature to put in the graveyard. <laughs> I did do. Okay. I crack the bubble. I see orc. So they did not set it out. Okay. I draw a rift bolt. Sure. One is a nine, but I can gain two life up to eleven. Whenever burn gets into this spot, it's very hard to come back. Whenever burn gets to like a losing situation, the deck just doesn't have the power to come back. Really, not much I can do about this game. It's just probably just pro probably just. Just save time, keep the league slow, keep the league low and concede. Keep the league low time. Okay, now sideboard. I think I want to cut a path exile on the play. The side in another smash. I just realized I forgot to post that it was going to go live. I always make my, you know, insta, insta post and tweet, but this time I forgot to click send on both of them. All right, I guess better late than ever. Uh, Let's go on the play. Sanctifier, nah. As, as you saw, they have a lot of green cards and that's just a 2-2. Two -two. money i think yeah all right so here i don't really have a good turn one play i don't think i want to go bolt ever so i'm just gonna go sick refinery tap here they play a one two i'll just searing blaze it put them most to five or you didn't have to sideboard necessarily like you know <laughs> that's often the, the mistake that new player make a lot sideboarding too many cards Isn't Flame Rift better than Mastery? Well, Mastery has a secret word that says can't be countered. That's why you play it. It's for Merktai, which is a bad matchup. And still a popular deck. Still Mountain and Searing Blaze the Halfling. This is the burn two for one. It's not a two for one. You don't get two cards out of one, but you do two things. You progress your game plan of burning your opponent down, and you kill their dork. Or, their, you know, they show up brawlers and such.
Uh, I think I don't want to board. I don't want to burn the. Um, I don't think I want to burn the Dread Arbor. I just go face with everything I got. Kun is on four virtually. They have two cards in end. They can obviously gain life with a scavenging ooze. Not even that many, just one at the moment. Plus I have school crack. Ass here. See if they have orc. If they have orc, I'm gonna draw a card with the Scanion here. Pretty bad draw, Path of Exile, but it's not that I had a uh, great options in the sideboard, and Dragon's Ray Chandler would be terrible in this game, probably. Uh, do I want to play Skullcrack? I think so. I think it's better than Bolt. It's a race now. Buongiorno, guys. Buongiorno, Mattia. How was Sicily? Great. Alright, I'll just play a couple of these and pass and... Probably next turn I'll uh, fire off my canyon and bubble. We'll see. I think I'm gonna actually path exile this orc. It may be that they have uh, black that they need black mana. So bad path exile. I don't even know why I brought it in. It's most likely a mistake. Anyway, let's crack the canyon. Show off. I think I want to bubble myself. I want to see. I want to have some more information about my game. Tap land. That's terrible. You know, I think I'll just untap and draw. Yeah, let's just go slick shot, ball two, top land. Not exciting. Let's hope you don't have push. You get a one. I plan to zero damage of their land. It's not very common. Okay, there's only one creature in the graveyard, so Scavenging Goose can only gain one. Legion's End, sure. Was Lightning Show Off as a blocker an option? No, no, it wasn't. My point was a seven. I didn't have lethal, so. All right. They multi five and didn't have too much going on. I guess burn capitalizes on that. If the opponent deck stumble, burn doesn't give you much turn, many turns. Oh, real goal player. Okay, final match. This league has been uh, very quick, very very quick. Oh, all right, my opponent's playing Gigantha. My hand is not great, but I'm not going to mulligan. Four lands, three spells. Sorry, four spells, three lands. Okay, my opponent has Ley Line. Again, earlier, round one, I played against Zoo. They never did the combo, and they didn't stand the chance. But my opponent now starts with half of the combo. Let's see if they draw the second half. If they draw the second half, unfortunately, my deck... Cannot beat it, so I'm gonna concede. 
I don't do power ranking anymore. GG power ranking. Maybe I'll do it again for my next uh, channel fireball video. We'll see. Why do you put a scooped? Uh, they saw my hand with Legion's end, and they decided I was going to see the line. I think I'm going just. Yeah, again, let's keep on hoping they never draw Cyan. Leyline is very good too, even without Cyan, because it lets my opponent just never take any damage. If they were going to cast that Cavu, they would have needed they, they needed to take some damage. Uh I don't know how good is the power ranking, honestly. Like, I understand that some people like it, but the problem with the power ranking is that uh, this is just, it's kind of negative content. I really dislike to do negative content. As in content that, you know, takes something down, which is, you know, decks that are out of the ranking and etc. So when I was doing uh, stuff for Channel Fireball, which was, you know, competitive uh, content, sure. But now the Channel Fireball doesn't want that content anymore, I don't want to do it for my content, so that's the reason. Table of Flames, all right, yeah. An easy, how do you say that in English? Table of five, 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 ten, fifteen, twenty. Very easy. In general, competitive magic has gone dramatically down. Uh, you can see that with just magic in general, no one a competitive content anymore. I still do that because I enjoy it. But uh, as you saw by my last vintage workshop video, uh, the, the, the best content is the one that isn't focused on competitive. I still like to do it because that's how I enjoy magic, playing to win. But I don't necessarily need to tell you that your deck is bad, even if I think so. That is not uh, doing well. Okay. Um... Cyboarding. I think on the play I don't want to change my deck at all. Maybe on the dragon side in this path because I just hate I hate this card. I don't want to see this card in my sideboard of a burn deck. Vintage is the hardest leagues on Moto? No way. That's popper. Vintage is the hardest league. What? Not true at all. All right. Uh, what do I do with this hand? That has four lands. Four lands. Why do I draw so many lands today? I played nineteen in this deck. I'm gonna post a legacy video soon. Um, not really. I mean, maybe I. I, I mean, I have to start playing legacy before four season because I played a legacy main event. So I have to start playing legacy. I haven't played legacy in a while. Uh, I haven't done anything yet, though, so I don't think I have anything planned. I mean, I did one video with goblins with name sticker goblin. Unfortunately, they banned. No, unfortunately, but they banned it, so I can't post that video anymore. So <laughs> I guess that content died. All right, now I opened this hand. All right, so this hand is probably still a keep, but I think this is a keep a lose, where that means you keep and then you lose. Of course, hello. Does this burn deck work? Well, I lost a match against Yogmot so far, but I feel like I could have won if I played it differently or I got slightly different top of the deck with the surveil. So, you know, it could have been 4 0. Yeah, I would say this burn deck works so far. This league has been strong. Why Popper League the hardest? Because the entry fee of a Popper League is like, you know, one-fifth of your whole deck. That means that the people that play them are uh, re are trying very hard. Whereas vintage leagues are usually, or, you know, modern leagues, whatever, they're like, I don't know, one-fifty. So people uh, try less hard, I think. That's, that's my idea. 
Give me, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome, welcome. All right, I drew a spell in Lightning Bolt. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm not a land. Lands are bad, Mangu. Lands bad. It's that I don't even draw the Sunbaker Canyon, just actual land. No Giganta here to exploit the fifth land. Opponent is a 13, and again, starting with Ley Line means two things. A, they don't take any damage from their lands, uh, which is how you win against Zoo. And B, as soon as they draw Cyan, it's game over. Real gold player. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Let's draw Searing Blaze. Shun the left. I think I'll go Channeler and I'll attack. If they block, I'll kill the Kabu. Then I hope they... Alright, this is the Lee. I guess I, need, I had the Lee room already with a fetch land. I did a probably... I didn't need to put this on the bottom... On, on the graveyard. I made a mistake. Although, leaving on top a 3-mana Volcanic Hammer feels really bad. Especially when they have a 5-3 in their deck. You know what also feels very bad? When you fetch end of turn and there's no survey land. That's a feeling that nobody should feel anymore in their modern life. Spell. If I draw land here, it's my fault. Because I could have drawn that Rift Bolt. I miscounted with Delirium. I'm so used to never have a Delirium that I just couldn't believe I had four cards and I actually had five. Buongiorno, Miki. Buongiorno, Tarke. There's a high train going on there. Very good. Thank you, thank you. What is a 10? I top deck Boris Charm, so they're at six. I think they have no removal spell for Channeler, so they're at three. I feel like my opponent deck didn't do too much this game. Maybe they have like, I don't know, three Tribal Flames and I die. Happy birthday? Why do you say happy birthday? Anyone has a birthday going on here? Happy birthday if you do. They do have Tribal Flames indeed. All right. I'll fetch down to 13 to deck thin. We are deck thinners over here. And then I burn you down to 6. I just want to draw back to back burn. Yeah, although if this is a 1 1 versus a 3 3, my opponent turn is relevant. Indestructible? Nah. Put my opponent to 6 is a lot of value. Your confidence to say that a play is better than another one. How do you know that giving indestructible is better? What's the confidence to say that one play is better than another one? All right, let's graveyard the bubble and top deck burn after burn. That's the first burn. You have three. Go. Attack me down to 8. It is more than 4 damage over time. What if they draw a Leland Binding? Then it deals 1 less damage, which in this case is not good. <gasps> GG. GG, well played. My opponent did the combo, which my deck cannot defeat. Alright. Yeah, I should have held Mountain. I was playing around Spell Pierce, that's why I played Mountain. But you're right, I have 2 Searing Blaze in my deck. Although, Spellpus could have been in their range. I just, it's over. I just want to see if I would have drawn a bolt or not. I wouldn't. Alright, 32. One treasure chest. But I think that, uh, yeah, I think it was a, a good showing off of the slick shot. 
that is going to be good in not only prowess but also burn so if you own the burn deck i think you can pour some money on this card or you can be like oh no i'm gonna hold because of mh3 you could do that but you can also buy the birds i don't think this card is going down in price probably very good in uh prowess in modern in pioneer and will also be good in standard for sure when rotation comes off so yeah thumbs up for the burn deck thank you for watching if you watched on youtube make sure to subscribe